Hi everybody, this is Tandy Gutierrez, and I thought we might do some little mini vids again, just for the fun of it, just to chat. Because I can answer emails all day long, and I do sometimes, and I can answer stuff online, but sometimes it's just nice to get a little kind of FaceTime, right? So lots of questions about how do I get fit? How do I get healthy? How do I do it? There's so many choices. There's so many ways to go about it. Um, that's the beauty of it, right? that there are a lot of choices. There are a lot of really good, genuine ways to do it, okay? So I'm just gonna give you tips that hopefully will help guide you on your path, right? And that's that's the mark of a good teacher, is it's somebody who meets you where you're at and helps draw out the best of you or set you in the direction of your best self in order to learn. It's not somebody who dictates, okay? So, how do you get fit and healthy? Number one, don't do it because you think you should. Nah, don't do anything because you think you should. That's lame, <laughs> okay? Even if it's your doctor is telling you or your family or the people who love you most that you should, and you should all over yourself. Um, it, it's not going to happen for you until you want to, until you know why you're going to, and it's not going to happen for you until it really resonates in your gut and in your soul, and it's just time, you know? And that's the crazy part, right? Because people can come to me all the time and I go, I can train you all you want, but you're not ready. And people go, what do you mean? I used to fire clients because <laughs> I thought, you're not ready, don't waste your money, don't waste our time, right? Sometimes you're not ready, that's all. It's not time yet, okay? People tend to not be ready and it tends to not be time to transition your fitness, your health, your wellness until something's wrong or broken, sadly so, okay? that's kind of a cultural thing, but just don't even bother until you're ready, until you really want to, because it's a waste of time and resources. Go do something else, okay? So number one, don't do it because you should. Do it because you want to, because you know you're going to this time. Two, recruit some help. <laughs> this one, man, okay. Everybody thinks that they know their bodies, and everybody thinks that they know what to do with them. Um, I'm telling you right now, that's not the case, right? Um, recruit some help. When you need legal advice, what do you do? Typically, you find an attorney. Why? Because the law is a very particular and expensive thing and it takes years to understand it in depth. There's a lot of knowledge and it you know, all fits together and works in a case-by-case -case basis, literally. Okay, so when it comes to your fitness and your health, it's the same thing. You need somebody who has already spent the years and the time and has the knowledge that can efficiently and compassionately impart it to you and really help you, right? You don't need a drill sergeant. You don't need somebody shouting at you. You don't need somebody being mean or condescending to you. You need somebody with knowledge, <laughs> okay? Who's schooled and versed and educated and understands that it's a process and loves it loves it, okay? So don't do it because you should, do it because you really want to and because you're ready. Recruit some help because it's silly not to, it really is just silly. Like everybody's excellent and gifted at something, right? Fitness and wellness, it may not be your gift. Who cares? Go find somebody who has a gift to give, right? Three, when you recruit some help, like them, please like them. Do not recruit somebody or let somebody help you that because, you know, your mom, your sister, your business partner, your coworker loves them. Everybody's different, okay? And fitness and wellness is a really personal thing. It deals with, you know, you think you're dealing with physical stuff, mm -mm. You're dealing with all of the internal stuff, the self-talk, the habits, culturally, you know, familially, what has been ingrained in you and what you believe to be true about a body rather than what is or what's possible. Um, and so you really need to like the person that you're gonna work with. Be, don't, nobody else needs to. They can love the person, right? If you don't dig them, it's okay. Everybody's different. There are lots of ways to do things. That's the wonderful bit of life, right? There are different variations, but you've gotta be true to what works for you or what might work for you and not be doing what you should do or what others think you should. Yeah, I just used your quotes. Okay, so past that point, how else do you get fit and healthy? Layer things in one at a time. Do not go down the path of trying to do everything at once. That is stress and conundrum and chaos. 
can't. You cannot cook a steak and bake a cake at the same time. Okay, maybe you can time them and layer them and have them finish at the same time, but you can't do those two things at the same time, okay? Why is the gluten-free girl talking about cake? Who knows? <laughs> it's a gluten-free cake, okay? Um, so choose one thing at a time and layer it in. Choose the things that are simple, choose things that seem approachable, and choose things that are doable. I'm a huge fan of making lists, right? Because I like to check them off, feel accomplished and done. So what do you do sometimes? You write little things down that you can check off real fast, or you do the small things that are quick, first so that you've checked things off and you can build on those wins and that sense of accomplishment and that confidence and go on to the bigger things. Fitness and wellness is no different. So if you have chosen somebody and recruited their help and you really like them, then, you know, either follow their advice and check in with your gut. This makes sense to me. This person is layering things in at appropriate levels for me. So it's going to work or you work with them and go, I'm not doing that right now because that's just simply not going to work for me. And then you do the next thing and the next. Okay, so to get into those particulars, I'll do another video of like which things I think you should layer in first, which I think are simplest and how to proceed from there. So this is your, your tip video. Maybe it comes out on Tip Tuesday. Maybe I put it up on Wednesday. Hope it helped. And if you have any questions or comments, let me know.